Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Tuesday, April 17th, 2018. And today in our Tech News Update, we have uh, the gaming uh, market for smartphones, which is kind of heating up here with many, many companies now wishing to actually have a gaming-oriented smartphone. Asus is the new uh, new guy in town with a uh, new gaming smartphone that it wants to produce. And uh, this is an interesting market as more and more uh, gamers are actually using smartphones and tablets for gaming instead of consoles or PCs. So this is kind of an interesting new aspect of the smartphone. And uh, why not? Gaming laptops are here. Microsoft has said that the bug that postponed the release of version 10, uh, version 1803 of Windows 10 was, uh, or what some people call the Spring Careers update, was a um, blue screen of death bug. And that's why it had to issue another um, release candidate. So yesterday, 17134 showed up for Fast Ring Insiders. It's being tested out for the next few days. We'll, of course, go to Slow Ring, release preview. And maybe in about about a week's time, we'll have um, the uh, official release of the Spring Creators Update. And for those that uh, are on the 17.133, there's a, it's a mixed bag. I will we'll have a video talking about maybe some of you will need to go back into the Insider Ring temporarily to get 17.134 before uh, you actually go to the uh, Spring Creators Update official release. Well, an interesting announcement yesterday. Microsoft announced a new IoT mix or Internet of Thing mix of hardware and software called Hazard Sphere. But the most interesting aspect of this is that, the, of course, there's hardware in there, but the operating system in it would be Linux, not Windows. We long heard about, you know, Windows for IoT, but it seems that Linux would be in these devices, and apparently Microsoft wants to do so. Well, latest Android numbers are out and shows that Oreo version 8, the latest uh, version of Android, is gaining ground, but uh, 7 is still king. So what are the numbers? Well, if we look at the last four versions, Lollipop version 5 and 5.1 together, 22.9% of the uh, Android market, which is pretty good. Uh, 6, 26% of the market. 7 is at 30.8% of the market. And uh, 8 is now at 4.6% of all devices. So uh, slow rollout, but still, it's gaining, slowly gaining momentum. But um, if we look at, you know, just version 6 and 7 together, they're at 56.8% of all devices, almost, you know, not, not, not far from that 60% mark. Well, ZTE has a lot of problems in the United States as it um, has all sorts of uh, hurdles where it, you know, can't get into the government. It, they can't sell those. Uh, many of the um, U.S. Uh, providers like Verizon and so on, AT&T, don't want to sell ZTE phones anymore. Well, now the U.S. government is banning the uh, ZTE company from uh, actually getting parts from U.S. makers like Qualcomm or Microsoft. So things are really getting difficult for ZTE. T-Mobile owes the FCC $40 million in fine. After it was found that it actually um, d did a little trick on users. So <clears throat> when they were unable to connect communications with phones, they were still playing a ringtone as if no one was home. But in reality, it just didn't connect at all. So, of course, that created confusion for some users and uh, problems for others. So T-Mobile is kind of in hot water for uh, doing that. An undercover report seems to show that employees at Amazon facilities, and especially the one in the UK, are actually in a uh, kind of a bad job situation. Apparently, the uh, facilities, uh, employees skip bathroom breaks because they don't want to get fired. Some will even pee in bottles and uh, basically 
It shows that conditions are really bad, apparently, at these facilities. That undercover report says that Amazon jobs are bad jobs and that it shouldn't be like that. And of course, it all has to do with the pressure of more and more packages that need to be shipped. Well, um, Intel and Microsoft are now going to actually use the power of your graphics processor to scan memory for viruses. Uh, that will kind of offload the CPU in that uh, respect, so the CPU won't have to basically do these types of uh, checks, which means the CPU will be able to do other things. And they hopefully want this to uh, make PCs faster. Russian hackers are infecting and controlling a high number of routers, a report says, including switches and in every sphere of the technology, from home to enterprise to utilities to governments. And they say it is a very worrying fact that many, many of these devices are now being actually controlled by Russian hackers. A study that uh, started to look at web apps and, you know, check out the different problems of security they might have is actually now telling us that 100% of them have security flaws. You heard me right, 100% of all apps tested have security flaws. And some of them are critical. The um, report also says that some of them, like banking apps that people use every day, and that security needs to be ramped up for these apps that often help us do some very important tasks in our daily lives. And Facebook is facing billions of dollars in lawsuit as uh, a judge has accepted a class action lawsuit for a feature that um, a lot of us have been using for many years. It was introduced in 2011. It's simply the feature where you tag your friends when you act actually have photos. Well, the problem is, apparently, Facebook didn't clearly state that when you tag your friends, it also made uh, basically face recognition into the uh, Facebook um, app, into Facebook, of course, social media. And so this is illegal. So it's kind of a very interesting aspect here, and um, we're going to see where that goes. And so this was a Tech News Update for Tuesday, April 17th, 2018. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.